when I see a young person hustling, when I see a young person trying to pursue their dreams, I mean, that's everything to me, because I was you. What's going on, guys? It's Shazzy, and today I'm here with one of the funniest guys in the world, Mr. Steve Harvey. Mr. Harvey, how are you doing today? How you doing again? Haven't seen you since last year. Well, it was more than last year. It was like, That's yeah, 2020. I'm last year. I'm trying to slow life down. When I first met you and when I first started my career in 2020, I asked you a couple questions. And I don't really know if you remember that, but I had a very great experience. And when I was interviewing you, first of all, before I interviewed you, I had to wait a couple hours in order to wait for that interview. And I remember you were walking to go talk to Stephen A. Smith. And I asked you, hey, can I please ask you a couple questions? And he said, yes. And during the interview, you continuously complimented me and said so many kind things about me and that really boosted my confidence and well, it stuck with me ever since. I'm investing in you. Thank you. You know, look, I'm not a man of big words, but game recognize game. When I see a young person hustling, when I see a young person trying to pursue their dreams, I mean, that's everything to me because I was you. I wanted to be something so bad, man. It kept me up at night. It worried me. I couldn't sleep. I wanted to be something so bad. Man, I used to cry about it because I, I, I felt like I was nothing. So when I see young people uh, hustling, grinding and scrapping, I invest in them. You, you're an investment to me. Thank you so much for that. Well, speaking about investments and being able to believe in ourselves, was there ever a point in the beginning of your comedic career where someone ever gave you the same opportunity that you gave me? Well, I mean, you know, I've had a lot of help along the way. Nobody makes it by themselves. Nobody. You can forget these people talking about they self-made. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. God sends somebody your way. God always puts an opportunity in your path that another person presents to you. So in all this, I'm self-made. No, you're not. You're not. God, God had a lot to do with it. So, yeah, there were a lot of people in my life. Nick Costas from Hilarity's Comedy Club, Rich and Becky Liss from when I first got started. It was just, I can't even count the people, man. I, I've had a lot, especially in the beginning. Those two people in the beginning, Nick Costas and Rich Liss, probably helped me more than anybody. Well, that's great to know. And being able to give opportunities with your platform and being able to say, hey, this person's grinding hard and I can see it. And I can see the mentality and the great mindset in them. So I'm investing in them, which is what you're doing. And I love that so much. I love the way that you have been able to open so many doors for other people as well. Well, you know, now you have to turn around and you have to reciprocate it. You have to do the same thing. Exactly, I know. See, God blesses you to become a blessing. So he don't put you here and then you don't show nobody else how to get here. That's the exchange. How old are you? I'm 13. What? 13. 13? Yes. Thirteen, I was digging holes in my backyard, putting water in it, trying to create a booty booby trap for my brother. Crazy. You were able to overcome a speech impediment as a child. I read that a worker at a local deli store helped you overcome that difficulty with stuttering. Can you share that experience with everyone out there and highlight exactly the most important parts about that? And also the ways that individuals play important roles in our My neighborhoods? The problem was a huge source of humiliation for me. I mean, you know, <laughs> I got teased about it all the time. I was so sick of it. And, uh, there was a guy that owned the corner store named Mr. Moore, Moore's Delicatessen. And he was very instrumental in helping me to stop stuttering. He was just an old man that used to feel sorry for me for coming in the store, trying to tell him what my mama wanted, bread, bologna, Coca-Cola, and it would take so long that uh, he gave me a system to, uh, to stop stuttering. And he gave me the motivation his motivation was very weird, but he gave me the motivation. So there are people in your neighborhood, if you pay attention, especially older people, 
older people know some things you may never get to know. So pay attention closely. So I think it's amazing, and I also tell my viewers how important it is to get advice from people in our neighborhoods. And it can be anyone. High five, yeah. Appreciate it, Mr. Steve Harvey. Well, guys, I'm here at Mr. Steve Harvey, and we're having a great time. And until next time, Jazzin' out.